We were all camping, and this man just started shooting at us. Okay, man. You can't send an ambulance until the scene is clear. Police have been dispatched. A hero medical drone will be approaching momentarily. Okay. Collaboration between William Carey University and Heinz Community College, a first-of-its-kind drone has been developed, the Hero Drone. Senior Associate Dean of Osteopathic Medicine, Dr. Italo Subaral, helped develop what he calls the ambulance drone. It's a drone that has a medical package with a highly advanced medical kit that when it drops, um, you open the package and you actually see a physician on that other side of, of, of the monitor. So in the case of an emergency, the unmanned aircraft could drop a kit with Google Glass, blood pressure monitor, gauze, and other potential life-saving medical supplies. The idea came as he and a group of students studied the 2013 tornado that tore through Hattiesburg and how the Mississippi Emergency Management Agency talked to people on social media. You know, with today's technology, can't we do more for these folks? Like, the communication was coming out and the emergency management was saying, we know where you're at, we're going to be there, just give us some time, which was totally appropriate. But we got this amazing technology. So why don't, why don't we try to take this technology and make it useful, make it so that it could actually help save lives. MEMA Executive Director Lee Smithson was at Tuesday's public demonstration and was impressed by the so-called ambulance drones' potential. Unintended, the sky is the limit with this kind of technology um, it, because it is cutting edge technology. And with these unmanned aerial systems, they don't deliver medical supplies, they deliver medical assistance. So right now, there's only one issue with using the HERO system, and that's the Federal Aviation Administration. We, we could be in the field within three to six months. This stuff is, the engineering is there. The bigger barrier is actually our ability to go beyond visual line of sight. The FAA doesn't allow commercial drones to fly without a direct line of sight from a drone operator on the ground for safety reasons. Still, Smithson says he's excited about the drones, but what really impressed him is a collaboration that made this possible. The, the greatest takeaway from this is the fact that we in Mississippi are the first in the nation to collaborate together to use unmanned aerial systems to provide health care, search and rescue, damage assessments or whatever, we're the first ones to do that. For Mississippi Today, I'm Gabriel Austin. So is that, is that systems monitoring?